Hi guys, so today we're going to be talking about the Wildy Steadicam system, which is a replica of the Steadicam HD2000. We're going to go through some of the key features on it, as well as how to balance it properly. So today I'm flying my Canon 6D with a 24-70 f4 lens, as well as a uh, Rode VideoMic Pro. This adds a little bit of weight to the front, so therefore we have to counteract that, as well as it's a little bit more top heavy with the microphone. So now we're going to go through kind of the setup as well as how to balance it. So before you start setting up your Steadicam system, go and make sure that your camera is fully ready. So things like putting in the SD card as well as making sure that it has a battery and adding any sort of accessories that you want to put on top. So now the camera is pretty much set up, ready to be balanced. The most important thing that a lot of people make the mistake of doing is leaving the lens cap on. Um, and then you find when you go to shoot, it's slightly off balance. So make sure that you take that off. So the next thing to do is obviously, I've already done it, but attach it to the top plate. Um, if you have a quick release system, it is easier because obviously once you balance it once, you can just put it straight on and there's no real issues, but we'll show you how to put it on the top plate now. So once you've taken the top plate off from the uh, Steadicam system, you then need to attach it to the bottom three quarter inch screw of your camera. So make sure that you tighten that up and make sure that you kind of straighten it in place before you tighten it down properly. Um, always recommend tightening it down properly with some sort of flathead screwdriver or a penny coin, anything like that when you uh, are on set because obviously you don't want your camera to slide off the front of the system. So that's tightened down nice and tightly um, and now we'll show you how to put it onto the actual system itself. So once you've got your camera actually attached to the top plate you then need to attach it to the system. So in order to do that you will literally just slot it into place and you've got four screws one two on one side and the other two on the other side which push and then screw into place. Um, this is a relatively simple way of locking the whole thing down. There you go, nice and quickly. So before you do any of this, you need to work out the rough weight of your camera, including accessories. Uh, once you've done that, you then take the supplied weights and you add them to the bottom of the sled. So you can add them at the front and the back, and then you get supplied with these little locking nuts, which will then screw in to hold them in place. So once you've worked out the rough weight of your bottom sled, you then need to undo this screw here, which would then allow the whole system to slide up and down, uh, ready for something called a drop test. So we'll lift it up to start with, to about there, and then lock it back into place. And now we're gonna do something called a drop test to, wait, uh, to work out whether or not it's balanced throughout. So in order to do a correct drop test, you'll first have to place your camera on the side and then you'll let go of this bottom bar and the counter weight should then drop down to the bottom within three seconds. So let's see what it's like. One, two, three, four. So that's taking about four seconds, so it's a little bit slow at the moment, uh, which means we need to raise this up just a little bit. Um, basically, the closer to this, the closer the bottom weight is to the camera, the shorter amount of time it will take to drop. And if you want to extend the time, you drop the weight down. Uh, if you can't get it correct doing this test, uh, I would then play around with the weights, either add more or less, uh, and then do the test again. So what we'll do is we'll then loosen this, move it up, and we'll try it again. So now we've raised the bar up again, we'll uh, Try that again, one, two, three, and that's about right. You can play uh, with that throughout your shot, making sure you can uh, get that fine tuning between slightly too long or slightly too short amount of time. Um, that test there basically will give you about a three second window uh, for the camera to resettle itself. You don't want something that's too heavy and therefore will just kind of be shaky and you obviously don't want something that you'll be walking along and it won't correct itself at all. So the best way to get a proper balance on the Wildy Steadicam system 
is making sure that your swing on it is correct. Uh, this is the way that the camera kind of corrects itself, uh, swinging left to right whilst, whilst moving along. So the way you do that is through moving this top sled left or right. And in order to do that, you have four screws, one, two, three, four, just underneath. You loosen those and then the whole plate will move left or right depending on which way you spin the, uh, spin the knob and that will get you a good balance. Once you've got that, lock them all back off and you should be set. So now you've got the top plate sorted out so the weight is evenly distributed throughout the camera uh, and throughout the system so it's not leaning forwards or back too far. Um, and we've also adjusted the left to right so it's not tilting one way or the other. You should be able to hold on to just the handle and it not tip forwards or back and left or right too much. Uh, as you can see, there's always gonna be a little bit of play around uh, with this system. Obviously, if you wanted super, super smooth shots, you put it on something like a slider or a dolly. Um, but the nice thing about the Steadicam is it does give a nice natural float throughout the shot without it being shaky. The main point of this system is to get rid of the camera shake, but still put in a nice bit of movement. So now you've got it all nicely balanced, you should be able to walk around with it nice and stable, um, do any sort of fancy tilt up movements as you're going along, and it's nice and stable. As you can see, I'll move it around, throw it up and down, and the camera is staying nice and stable. Um, it's, not, it's not wobbling around, it's not swinging from side to side. If I do that, it will naturally drop back into place. As long as though you have your hand there, just to kind of guide the system, twisting it along. Um, you can get nice kind of panning shots as you move. Goes back, nice low, going into high angles, things like that, that you wouldn't be able to get with a lot of the other systems out there. Uh, this is a great system, and if you add in a vest and arm rig on top of this, you can get really, really good shots. Um, and it's brilliant for us, because if we're doing an along event, or feature film, anything like that. It's really good because me, as the camera operator, I can fly the Canon with a bigger battery pack, things like that, for two or three shoots at a time um, and not have a problem. I don't have to take it down, put it down, things like that, because it's heavy, because I can distribute that weight throughout my body. Um, and if you want to see a video on how that system works with this, link to the link uh, either just below or we'll put a little card up there um, and if you want to see an overall little review of the Wildy uh, click the other link which should be over here or in the description below thanks for watching and next week we're going to be reviewing some more tech